This is The American on ESPN Plus from the picturesque campus of Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas, and inside Moody Coliseum. Wednesday afternoon action between Memphis and SMU. I'm Chris Mykoski alongside analyst Smacker Miles. Smacker, these teams had identical starts to their conference campaigns. Both teams got beat by UCF and beat USF. Today is a huge match for staying in that upper echelon of the American Conference. The Mustangs go on three consecutive road matches after this one. Have to take advantage of the home court today. They had their best crowd in about five years on Sunday. They are looking to capitalize on that home court advantage before they head on the road. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. They're brought to you by UT Southwestern Medical Center, the official health care system of SMU Athletics. Visit utswmed.org. Maya Smith for Memphis leads the way with 14 kills on a 306 hitting percentage in their last match that win over South Florida. Jasmine Tate will be a big factor, the transfer from Chandler, Arizona. For SMU, Tatum Tickner, the libero, closing in on 2,300 digs and 500 assists on her career. Also like to see London Austin Rourke get going on offense again today. She had nine kills against UCF, tying a season high. We're ready for first serve, matinee volleyball inside Moody Coliseum. Smacker mentioned the biggest crowd of the season and the biggest one in five years here in Dallas. Nearly 1,300 in attendance on Sunday when SMU took on UCF. Today, not nearly that. They'll have to create their own energy, a little bit different for these players, really have to turn to each other as opposed to those huge cheers. Cre creating your own energy is a huge part of sport. These ladies practice together every day, and they are no stranger to that. SMU will get things started with Marika Vandermark going on the attack. Memphis will counter Maya Smith. Scores the first point of the afternoon. Tate from the back row. Now Cullen will set it up for Vandermark down the line. Dug out by Houlihan. Tate with the touch. And Memphis takes set one, 25 to 19. Tate is certainly back on track. Her sixth kill on eight attacks, a hitting percentage of over 600 in this first set. Tigers win it 25 to 19. More matinee action from Moody Coliseum in Dallas, Texas. This is The American on ESPN+. Plus. Crescenzo brings into play. That one is long off of Memphis. And SMU wins set two. Memphis had a 25 to 19 victory in the first set. And now it's the Ponies 25 to 17 in the second set. An incredibly even day so far between a pair of teams that are one and one in the American Athletic Conference. Third set on the way from the Hilltop on ESPN+. Twenty-four all in set four. And Jaden Boss gets SMU back to match points. It's her first double-double since the season finale last year. 12 kills, 18 digs. Tatum Tickner on the service line. Maya Smith denied. Boss ends it for SMU. She closes out her first double-double of the season with her 13th kill, and the Mustangs win 26-24 in set four to close out a three set to one victory.
Mustangs hit at a 223 clip today. Well above what Memphis was able to accomplish in our postgame stats are presented by Hilltop Securities, one of the nation's leading municipal investment banks and wealth management providers. The Mustangs had a strong day statistically after the first set, winning the last three in a row. Mustangs led the way in kills with 57, compared to Memphis's 49. Memphis did win the blocks on the day with 12, compared to the Mustangs' nine. Mustangs won aces with seven compared to the Tigers three and that hitting percentage tells the story a strong day by the Mustangs when they got in rhythm offensively they looked like a new team in the final three sets and dominated and after closing the match with the kill Jaden Boss is our Simmons Bank player of the match join Simmons Bank in celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX Simmons Bank is a proud sponsor of SMU, member FDIC. The Mustangs know they need Jaden Boss in rhythm on the court. She is everywhere when she's out there, offense and defensive threat for the Mustangs. Her double-double was huge in today's victory. She had blocks, kills, heads up play, and she helped her teammates in a big way. So SMU gets to two and one in the American Athletic Conference. They'll next head to Cincinnati on Friday, then off to Tulsa and Wichita State, a big road swing here in the early part of the conference schedule. Today, they drop set one, then win three consecutive to beat the Tigers. For Smacker Miles, I'll tell her giddy up. I'm Chris Mykoski, so long from Dallas, Texas, and David B. Miller Court at Moody Coliseum. Our final count again, SMU 3-1 to one over Memphis. All games airing on the ESPN networks, streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN and the American Athletic Conference.